YouTube, it's Mitchell Z. I'm back. I'm putting up some videos this week. I know I've been gone for a while, but I just wanted to come back on for a quick update and a quick hello. I did notice that I've got some new subscribers, so hello to all of my new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. And thank you to everyone else who's been subscribed for some time and, you know, for being patient and everything because I know I've kind of slowed down here recently. It's actually gotten pretty busy for me and for my family. So um, one thing I wanted to update you guys on is we did purchase a new camera. So you might see a little bit different video footage. Um, this is the Canon T3i. DSLR and we bought it for um, shooting video with and I'm mostly I think I am going to continue um, using the camcorder because a lot of times as far as like if I move around back and forth it'll auto focus but this is all like manual focus um, my husband is a screenplay writer and we're shooting a film right now like he just went out and shot some footage last night um, and the day before and we've just been trying to get all of this footage all edited together for um, a deadline for a contest coming up at the end of April so we've been really really busy with that and then starting in May it looks like I'm gonna be having some more photography um, I've got a wedding that I'm shooting and then the following week possibly I'll have um, some portraits that I'm doing so yeah, we've been getting pretty busy. So as far as using the computer, we're using it to edit and things like that. So that's kind of taken a little bit of time away from my videos, but I didn't forget about you guys. I'm coming up with some new ideas, things that I want to do for the channel. And yeah, so I'm going to be coming here periodically. I do want to still post weekly though. That is my goal. So stay tuned for new videos. I'm not sure what it's like in any other state right now. All I know is the weather here is cold, it's snowy. It is April 15th today and it is snowing. <laughs> um, yeah, this is kind of late in April. Like we can always expect snow in April, but April 15th is kind of pushing it. It's like we're starting to get in. It's officially spring here, but yeah, I mean, the kids are hoping for, like, another snow day. They just had a snow day last week. It's basically snowing once a week. Um, so, as far as the wash and go, I don't know. I don't really want to leave the house with, like, wet hair. Like, this morning, when I took off my scarf, my hair was more flat from the scarf and everything. So, I kind of, I just fluffed it a little bit, even though there were pieces that were just not... I probably would have spritzed it normally, but it was so cold this morning. I had on my winter coat, and I just needed to get the kids to school. So, um, yeah, the wash and go right now, I don't know. I just, I'm not a fan of wet hair and the cold and everything. Even with the kids, they all have curly hair, but a lot of times I'll whip out, like, the blow dryer. Or I try to use, like, I'll just spritz their hair very lightly just a couple times. And then we'll mostly just use conditioner to get their curls going because it dries a lot faster. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of crazy that we're still dealing with snow like we are. So I have played around with actually wearing my hair straight in the last few for weeks. For spring break for the kids, we had Easter holidays. So I did straighten my hair out and I gave myself a trim around that time. The last few weeks, I, I would say I've been straightening my hair one time a week. Um, I did that for about three weeks in a row. So my process for bringing my curls back, I've really been using um, the Affigy two minute reconstructor in order to help give my hair some protein in between those times so I would shampoo my hair and then I would make sure it was clarified from all of the products that I used previously. After my hair was cleansed I used the two minute reconstructor with a baggie on my head for about 20 minutes and then when I rinsed all of that out I followed that up with a deep conditioning treatment where I would add honey now normally I would add olive oil if I know I'm going to do something like a wash and go, but I don't like to have oil in my hair when I'm going to use heat. 
So I would just use the honey because the honey is a humectant and it helps the conditioner work even better. And so that would bring more moisture back to my strands. And then I would go ahead and use my leave-ins and do the flat ironing and go right back to it. Um, one thing I did notice is I do like applying my heat protectant on damp hair and then letting my hair either air dry or using the blow dryer and then just flat ironing. But before what I was doing was using like leave-in conditioner, a silicone based type um, serum for flat ironing and then when my hair was dry I would go ahead and spray my heat protectant spray and then use the flat iron. But what I noticed is that after my hair air dried, it would air dry in a nice smooth texture or if I use rollers or if I use the blow dryer. But then when you go to spray the heat protectant, it would like start to make your hair revert. And then my ends were just like really curly and then it made it harder for me to do the straightening process. I noticed that if I just put everything in my hair while it's damp, let it dry or dry it with the blow dryer, and then use the flat iron, I got much better results. So I do want to share that on camera, but I guess I was still kind of nervous as far as heat damage because I was using heat as often as I was. But you can see that my hair right now, you can still see the texture is still there, the shrinkage is still there. But also I did give myself a trim. So I am thinking that you know, these new ends, anything that might have been older, maybe wouldn't have survived. I don't know. So, yeah, that's my hair right now. I'll show you the back. The, today's style, I just flat twisted it. Um, I, I actually did this flat twist like a few days ago. And this is the end of the twist and I'll just kind of like put it, sometimes I'll just leave it and then sometimes I'll just put it behind my ear like that. Um, but I actually put that in a few days ago and when I co-washed my hair again last night and did all of the products again, I just left this part. I didn't even take it down. So when I first did this, it had hair gel and everything in it. So it seems to be holding really well. And I am using the castor oil underneath. So this is just... Paul Mitchell leave-in on wet hair, then castor oil, then Eco Styler gel. So I've just been doing that same process and my hair is pretty soft and moisturized. So this gives me a few days and all I have to do is spritz it in the morning. But since it's snowing, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. So I actually were going to complete the film shoot and I have a part in the movie and for continuity last week when we shot part of my part my hair was straight so my hair needs to be in a similar state in order to keep up with continuity so if we shoot again at the end of this week you know I might do I might just go ahead and do another video to give you an update on that. Um, or maybe I'll show the flat ironing process this time now that I know that, you know, my process is working and I'm not like ruining my hair every time. I didn't want to share it with you guys and go, oh, this is how I flat iron my hair and then come back and go, uh, well, my curls are totally dead. So erase that, delete that. You know, it's like, it's always, it's always possible every single time that you use heat, the blow dryer, curling iron, curling wand, flat iron anything it's always possible that you might ruin your curls so that's why you know the two minute reconstructor for me is a lifesaver because I can just give my hair back that quick boost of protein in between the process and then just keep it moving so anyway that's my update I know it's kind of long but I want to just come in stop in say hi give you guys an update and let you know how I'm doing and look forward to some new videos so until next time thanks for watching bye